Hello everybody, in today's video, a little bit different today, just doing a little quick PSA type of video showing you that a lot of people are actually leveling up their weapons ineffectively. So Shirokshi is the best place to actually level up weapons. I'm leveling up this Trace Rifle right now. And I, I see a lot of people just not honestly doing it very smartly. So I'm just going to kind of go over a quick little way of in my opinion the best way of doing it now whether you play hunter or not you should honestly be on night stalker because if you don't know tether actually will help you level your weapons if you fire your tether and you get a kill with a weapon it will count for all the kills so we're going to benefit from that by trying to get the super as fast as we can so we're going to be running uh Arthias rigs fantastic exotic for getting our you know super but it can it gets up to 50 percent super and then it stops so then we're you're just going to run the dynamo mods on your helmet we're also going to run what a siphon to get an orb for whatever weapon you're running and then three kick starts and then you know just just do that and then with it with this get devour in your tree and then use this fragment right here Make sure that you are not using the fragment that causes enemies to explode when they die to your abilities because that will take away this one right here. Don't use this one because it will take away the kills from you. All right, so there's actually a little bit of a method that you want to do here because if you just go willy-nilly and kill everything, it will actually not spawn as many enemies. I'll do the first run here. I would recommend firing your first tether up here also. So I'm just going to just willy-nilly kill everything as you, you know, normally do. But it, every time your tether tags something, you actually get some dodge energy back, making it so you can just get your dynamo, all that. But anyway, just pretty much just dodge on cooldown. You have devour up all the time. It just makes it so a lot easier to just kill all the ads. Cool, we killed all the ads, so we'll wipe. And we'll see how many ads we kill. Okay, so the sec the second run, I'm going to show you how you should kill them because it will cause more ads to spawn. So like the first time I come up here, I put my tether because it means I can hit these guys initially, kill them like normal. When you get half your super dodge, gets a chunk back, pick up the orbs. More guys will spawn in. Kill them, dodge, go. Just basic killing, dodge. Try to leave the knights alive. I would kill this dude. So you only you can kill one knight or the riven, and it, it will cause all these guys to spawn in. So tether them. And obviously, kill the tethered guys. Cool. More will spawn in. Go up and dodge to get your more super energy. Cool. More guys are going to spawn in. Dodge. And with the build, it makes it pretty easy to live. So then you'll kill another knight. So more guys will spawn. Get another tether. Kill that guy. And then you'll wipe again. And I killed 116. You, if you kill the ads before the knights and just kill them slowly, you get way more ads to spawn. It just 
over in the long run, it's just more beneficial and honestly saves you raid banners if you're going to use those. A lot of the time, especially when you're leveling a primary or a trace rifle, you honestly don't even really need to use your raid banners if you really want to be restrictive and like save them. And I'll put the dim link in the description of the video if you want to use this build, but no matter what, when you're leveling, I would just use this build. I don't care if you don't play Hunter, you save so much more time. Just, just do this. Now, I know this isn't my regular type of content. I normally do PvP gameplays, but I know most PvP players don't want to spend all their time leveling up the guns, so I figured I'd get this out and just, you know, inform people that don't know. If you do enjoy the video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe, as it does help out the channel a lot. Thank you.